Hey, welcome to Tough Guys. On this video, we're going to be using a water tro or a steel tub here that you'd use to feed livestock or something. We're gonna be trying to convert that into a bathtub. This is actually our second go at this. Um, we tried this one other time and I ended up using a coating on the inside of the tub. It didn't work out very well, so I ended up getting another one. And I'm gonna kinda of go through the details of getting the drain set up in this thing, which has been really, really hard and one of the things we had a hard time with last time. Um, the bathroom is already remodeled, so unfortunately I won't get to go through that whole thing with anybody, but I wanted to show how we get the drain uh, hooked up on this tub. The first step is to mark on the bottom where we want the drain to go, and I've measured this from inside the bathroom, which I'll show once we get inside um, how far in we want. Plus, I have the advantage that I've done this one at a time. Um, we're using a two-inch hole saw, which cuts through this steel tub just fine, and uh, kind of get a look of this. It's two feet or a little bit over two feet wide by four feet long by about 20 inches tall. So it's a pretty good size and it's it's smaller than a standard tub, but it looks really cool in our bathroom and we've got the galvanized metal on the walls in there as well. So I'm gonna get this hole cut and that's gonna be our first step. And then we have to figure out how to give it a little bit of a, of a swoop in the metal, which is gonna be hard to figure out. All right, let's give this thing a go. Oh, we gotta tighten up the bit a little bit. One second, folks. And this one just has a, if you guys can see that, it just has a flat head tightening nut on there. I just had to use a bunch of uh, liquid wrench on these things to get them cleaned up, so it's probably come loose a little bit, but that's how you tighten most of these type of hold saw bits. They'll either have an Allen wrench or normally a flat head on there. So I'm gonna tighten it up and we'll go back at it. Round two. Quick note, I'm not putting a ton of pressure here. I'm just letting the bit do the work. Um, with it being metal, you can see it's kind of throwing little shards and stuff. You don't have to push real hard. This thing's gonna start going through and you wanna keep it level across. I've always tend to find if I put a lot of pressure, it starts to move one way or another. So just wanted to mention that. And there it goes. All right, so this thing is, I'm just gonna wipe all these little metal shards. Kind of see on the rag there. Those are little tiny shards of metal. So that's what it's gonna throw out. That's the other reason why I don't really go crazy fast on this um, as I'm going. You kind of see, you do not want that stuff getting on you. But take a look here. Nice clean edge on this. Um, those whole saws work just fine. And that's an old, old, uh, believe, actually I don't even know the brand. I've had that thing for so long. I think I might have even got it from my dad years ago. So um, that's how that looks. Now the next challenge is, like I said, I need to get, a, I need to be able to bend this out a little bit so I can get the interior piece of the drain to kind of sit down flush into this so it drains better. We had problems with the old tub draining. So let's start working on that. All right, here is that hole saw set. This thing is not pretty, but they work. Um, this thing has gotten like oil in it at some point. Um, Aggressor by Blue Mole, um, made in the USA. We've got all the different sizes. And like I said, um, I've had this thing for a very long time. I've used it for probably 50, 100 projects. I mean, who knows? Um, anyways, I just wanted to verify um, the brand I was using. I think Diablo makes a great set. Um, Craig makes some. I'm sure there's a ton of these out there. So just make sure you have, you know, uh, good locking parts and make sure you just keep them clean, unlike me. Um, even though these look like this, they still work really great for a real long time. All right, so we got this up on shims. That way I have a little bit of space underneath. The reason why is this is like the drain assembly that would sit down inside of this thing. And I need it to be up off the ground a little bit because that drain that fits in there for the tub, um, there is a gap. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to show this. It actually sticks up around the edge. And when we did this last time, we had a lot of trouble 
with the water from inside draining out, even though I built the floor inside with a grade going towards the, the drain. So I thought that the grade would be enough. I didn't realize these would have such a big hump, but I only have to inset it. I mean, that's maybe eighth of an inch. Let me actually go down closer with the camera and see if I can get up to kind of show you all how far that needs to inset. Hopefully that illustrates that better. The thing is down there. It's not, it doesn't need to go under very far. It just needs to inset a tiny, tiny bit. So that's gonna be the goal and see if we can do that. All right, in order to do this, I'm trying to think outside the box. I do not know how to put enough pressure on that to give that thing an indent. So I found a couple rocks walking around our property. Um, this one is super smooth edge. It's rounded enough to where I think I may be able to beat down into that opening. Um, I found a smaller one too that's like super smooth. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I've not tried it. Um, there's probably a better way to do this. <laughs> I have no idea. I just need to get a little bit of a curve to inset that in. So I'm gonna try kind of using the rocks to press. I need want it to be a nice rounded shape. Um, I've heard or read about online a couple people using like a softball, but I don't feel like that would work in this case because the drain is so small. Uh, maybe a baseball, but again, it's not a solid enough thing that I feel like it would be able to bend the steel enough. So I'm gonna try this bring you guys along for the journey and see if we can't get this thing inset a little bit. And then if you have any better ideas, I'll hopefully I'll be able to read about those in the comments. I actually wrapped this up with an old t-shirt we had out here in the shop just because I want to try to protect the edge as much as I can of the metal. I have no idea if this is going to work. I had no expectation for this whatsoever, but that has actually brought that down quite a bit. And let me find this drain. That is pretty unbelievable. If I can get that thing down a little bit more, that is going to work. All right. I think I've got that as about as flush as I can. Grab one of my speed squares here. I mean, I don't think it's going to get much better. That is amazing. All right. So <laughs> this worked. Um, I did not have that expectation. I wrapped it with a t-shirt just to protect the edges of the metal. That seemed to work really well also. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. So the next step is I'll show you guys the way the bathroom is set up now. Like I said, the floor already has a pitch. I'm gonna have another issue though because I popped that metal out underneath. I'm gonna have to shim up the tub a little bit. So that's another thing we have to overcome to get this reinstalled. But uh, when in doubt, just hit it with a rock, I guess. All right, so we're here inside. I'm gonna show you the bathroom as it is right now. Um, like I said, we've already done the remodel, so this is the second time we're installing the tub, but uh, let me show you what we're dealing with now. So here's the platform that we had built before. Um, we built that up because of the way we had to run the plumbing, and we also wanted to have a little bit of a step. This actually slopes downwards. Um, it gives the drain slope, but I didn't have that drain inset before, so um, it's all the leftover sealant that I had put in there. We've got the galvanized panels on the wall, so the tub will fit nicely in here and it goes kind of side to side. So we're going to bring this in and just rough fit it and see if we can get a solid connection on the drain that's here now. And if not, we're going to have to shim up the backside of the tub a little bit to help give it that difference now that I've, I've knocked that drain down like I have uh, to seep that in there. So let's take a look. All right, we've got the tub just rough set in here uh, to kind of give you a view of how this thing looks. And these would be for some shims we may have to put underneath. And here, you see that lines up with the old drain line uh, pretty well. So the type of drain, two inch, it's threaded. Uh, there is a rubber gasket as well here. 
that just just fits onto this. Um, this is a pull pin type uh, for the actual stopper, so it screws down. It screws down inside of the uh, of the drain, and then it just kind of lifts up and down and stops the drain out. So what we're gonna try to do is put the drain in here and do a quick water test uh, with the level and see if the water actually drains through there. All right, so because of the curve on the bottom edge of that tub where the drain assembly goes in, um, I'm gonna try something and see if it will work. I'm gonna use some plumber's putty to seal around the inside and I'm gonna seat the gasket onto the back side. Um, I don't know if that's gonna work 100%, but I'm gonna try it as a first trial. And with plumber's putty, you know, generally when you're putting in like a kitchen sink is when I'd be using this stuff, uh, not necessarily for a tub drain, at least not in my experience. Um, but it's kind of like the consistency of Play-Doh. I generally want to get it into kind of a snake. And you don't need a, a ton of it because it's going to squish out, but you want enough for it to seat around the drain. So what I'm going to do is stick some of this around the back side. And I want a nice, um, consistent bead of the product around there. So that way when I when I press it into place and it seats down, we've got a, a solid seal around the bottom. And I'm a little thick on that one side, but it's gonna press out. So, I'm gonna get this seated in and then we're gonna do a water test just to see if it will hold water. Um, and I'll get the, the push top drain. So basically the way this thing works is this part here threads into the base of the drain you know, from this side. And when you turn it, it drops down. So you see, it'll, it'll, it'll fall into the drain and close it off. When you lift it up and twist it, it'll hold open and then twist it again and it falls down. So there is how that works. And uh, let's get this thing set in and, and see how it goes. All right, so here's the drain. You've got a drain wrench, which allows to get that thing tied down. And then a screwdriver, which will help me tighten it down. So. Generally, the corners putty to just work its way out. Just like that. I think things feel seated really well. So let's get the drain cap installed. All right, and we've got the drain assembly locked in place. You just kind of twist it and it falls in. And we're gonna let this plumber's putty set up overnight, to get a good hold on there. Um, but so far, so good. Everything looks really good. And we got the level here, and we've got a nice pitch from front to back. And then from side to side, we're looking good on level from side to side. So we got this thing in here well and looking good. So get the kids taking baths again and this thing will be great. Test to see 
if it uh, had any leaks or anything like that. We actually let the water stay in overnight and it still worked out really well. So let me show you how this thing opens. So pull it up and twist. And there we go. All right, well, thanks for watching us uh, put this tub in this go round. And if there's any more details that you guys wanna know about the process, just leave a comment and I'll try to answer any of the questions. I know I couldn't show everything on this one. Um, we did the remodel so long ago and I don't have any videos from back then. Um, things like when we, you know, we set up the plumbing in the floor and we built that slope into the floor. Um, that stuff I just unfortunately don't have any details on and setting the tub in place is just so straightforward You know, you're just locking in the drain basically But I still wanted to show that because When I went through this process there really wasn't a lot of information at all And I really couldn't find much help the first you know the first time and along with this time too You know like trying to get that thing dented in so that the water will actually drain out of the tub so Anyways, if you think of anything that you'd like to know about it Just let us know in the comments and then we'll try to answer and give more detail and other than that, thanks for watching and subscribe if you like what we do and look forward to seeing you guys when we start our next project.